Hi, this is Eduardo from GitChina.es and we are going to make the hands-on and unboxing of this iNew V3 that we have received thanks to MobiOnline.com. First of all, we are going to check the content of the package. We have here the phone and we are going to check it later. We have the battery. The battery has 1830 we have here the user manual which is in English we have here the earphones here we have the USB cable micro USB connector and here is the world charger we are going to check the most important part of the box which is the phone this phone has a MediaTek processor MT6283 which is a quad core processor at 1.3 GHz as you can see it has NFC the screen is a uh, OGS panel. It has five inches with a resolution of uh, 1280 per uh, 720. It has one gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigabytes of memory. We are going to switch on. As you can see, it's dual SIM. And also it has a micro SD uh, to put uh, more memory. Here is the N NF NFC antenna, which is like a sticker. It's a very thin phone, very good design with this kind of buttons. 3.5 jack audio usb in the top volume rocket here it has nothing so we are going to switch on we have tested a uh, different mt uh, 6283 mobiles and uh, the performance is very good as you as you will see also, this phone has a very good design with this part in white. Mix it with the black of the screen. It's very, very smooth. The camera is a 13 megapixel in the rear part and 5 megapixels in the front part. very quickly one of the most beautiful de details is this part the center button it looks very very good here is the front camera it has uh, it comes oh sorry it comes with a different uh, a customized uh, Android ROM but is very similar to a vanilla vanilla ROM without any changes. It is Android 4.2.2. Here you can see it. And almost all the options are similar to the to the other phones. It comes with Play Store, so it has the Google Apps. And well, uh, after this, we are going to check the performance with the uh, more commons and the most famous benchmark, Antutu, Quadrant, 3D Mark, and so on. So we are going to pass to the next step, which is the benchmarking.